So another video on living off grid. Uh, you can't remember from one of my videos I spoke about wanting to construct um, a fence with uh, bamboo because that is going to be a little bit cheaper compared to going with blocks for now. And I was looking at options how I was going to get a bamboo. I went out to scout. It was a place I was going to get some, but that uh, point they do sell the bamboo. And I was still making inquiries, just trying to find out. And I was told of another place I could get a bamboo for free. Just I'll have to pay off whoever is going to do the cutting as well as the transportation. Yes. So I went, uh, we actually going um, today to see the place. We have with us uh, Cutlass, that's my, uh, the gentleman I'm going with. Yeah, so uh, hopefully we get there and it's possible to get the quantity that I want cut them then make arrangement for transportation and then bring it here so let me just show you around i'm sure a lot of people have wanted to see what it looks like around so this is how it looks like over here the house is just somewhere around there uh, this is beans small beans farm and that's a small village over there and then over the um the valley the valley down there there's a stream there with some uh a uh, palm plantation a little bit palm plantation down there and then this house so when we we're coming to build this house had been started and then it was even roofed before mine but it looks like the owner has paused or halted a little bit then there are some fence wall and then some projects going on over there uh yeah so this are some of the views you get around here so there's a town called danso which is just over that side and this is a little cassava farm which is yeah looks a little bit bushy but i'm sure they'll be clearing it very soon and i must also admit that there are small small projects that are going on like in between these places so some are a little bit far away but once you are on our side you're able to see them and some are also closer to the road so there's one which we are getting closer to over here now one good thing is it cool wow this it will interest you to know that this entire place has been bought out in terms of the land available around this particular place so there are players which are mounted at every section yeah bearing the names of the owners of um, those land so unfortunately at this particular point you don't get land to buy but there are some which are close by that if you are interested you'll be able to get some to buy so this is another project going on here so they they are laying the blocks they are molding the blocks themselves and then doing the lane which brings a very important uh topic when it comes to a building is it good to mold your own blocks or is it good to buy well there are advantages and disadvantages of both um molding them definitely will take time uh, but might save you some cost that is and you also have um control over the quality that you want buying them might save you time but also you don't have control over the quality but sometimes you're able to determine um the quality so there are pros and cons for both of them but it looks like they are molding their own blocks maybe it looks like they have a lot of time on their hands so yeah and they, they are working with that so we are working in a small park in a bush here which leads to the village i was speaking about so that is over there on the other side and that is the building i was talking about so it looks like there are small small projects going on in so there's also another building going on around here and there's uh maize i think maize has been planted here so we planted maize earlier uh this like during this raining period and we've actually even harvested we've harvested the the distant the maize um so far so we are looking at planting or growing something different we don't want to you know continue with the the maize so maybe i'm still looking at options available something that is not going to feed so much on the nutrients in the soil or deplete the nutrients so i'm still thinking through a couple of options yeah so our place is over there it's far from here you might not see it yeah i have a friend who got a land around here two plots uh she she's here to come see them she was fortunate she, i think she was the last person to 
I've gotten land around this place. So there's a stream here. I keep talking about it every now and then. So today I'm going to show you the stream. Alright, we're almost there. Let me just flip over there so you can see it. So oh it looks like I am Vaha. Oh see a bit trying you know. See my question soon. Okay, Enko. If it's Anka, what do you enco? Enco. Okay. So the stream is just down here. I thought we were going to pass here, but where we are going to pass to we we'll get to cross the the stream to the other side as well. So yeah. I must also say that today is um, Sunday and we turned pounding for food. So good for me, my mason came back. I'd already prepared my soup. That was um, yesterday, groundnut soup or peanut soup. So he's actually taking care of the food. So once we'll be back, it will be ready and then we'll have something to eat for lunch today. And then hopefully maybe the evening we'll figure out what we might eat again. Yeah. Okay, so. One thing about this place, as I've said earlier, is that there are a lot of pineapple plantations. So pineapple is like so, so, so. There's a lot of pineapple over here and they are very nice. I'm even told that there are three different types of pineapples that they actually grow around here. Yesterday, one man was mentioning this is smooth, something, something. Yeah. I'm sure they being for her. Ah, okay, we'll say more. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is a pineapple plantation just here doing very well this was the building i was talking about i think you have a close-up of it from here uh when we we're starting they had also started um yeah they went at a very fast pace and then got to the lentil level took some time so this is one of the streams or it's even just a stream that goes all the way down there so it goes flows down there. so yeah they they do fetch water from here for maybe washing bathing and you know irrigation so this is a close-up of the building i think last time i came closer it was like around three bedroom so and they were here to roof they actually did the roofing before we did i did mine yeah. Oh, there's also sugar cane there. Sugar cane here, 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 here. So, oh, okay, so in starting here. Uh, so, ah, oh, and I mean, I'm me pay you. Wow. Okay, okay. I didn't know, I didn't know there was sugar cane around here. Oh, that's cool. You know, once you begin to explore or walk around, you identify, discover a lot of things. So, yeah, this is a close up of the house. Looks nice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know they had sugar cane here. That's nice. That's good to know. So I'll be glad to have some um, to to eat on or enjoy today. So hopefully we'll pass by there when we are going back. So that's our place, which is far away over there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So that's our place. So we happen to be on top of a hill, which is nice. You get to enjoy or see amazing views, you know, all around. It's really, really beautiful. I'm very, very happy about that spot, I must say. Yeah. So this video is also going to be a very long one on cut. Just showing you what it feels like. Just uh, you know, exploring around. So these are pineapple farms as well. Yeah, got some pineapple farms over here oh i mean boots these are my mason mason's uh, Wellington boots i've got mine unfortunately i didn't bring them here so once i go over to my old place i'll make sure to bring them along yeah oh, the views the views that you people have been talking about yeah the yeah, pineapple is a close up of the pineapple this is how the pineapple plant looks like a lot of people don't know how pineapple grows so yes egg. this is how it looks like that's the pineapple sitting on top it'll grow to become big and then they'll come and harvest them and they'll be off to the market either exported or processed whichever way 
more pineapple. So that was a village that I used to talk about. It's just down there. And it looks like there's some small forest maybe around this section. Last time we just passed by and then there's cattle. Where they keep the cattle? They are over there. I don't think we'll get close by right there. But today if I am fortunate to meet them, I'll probably film them and share with you. Whatever they are. Oh, they are harvesting pineapple. Wow. You just have a stem pineapple over here. It's a tractor that is loading the pineapple. Okay. Uh, looks like there are more building projects going on. There's a building there, there's some there, there's some also over there. More pineapple. So that, those are people harvesting pineapple over there. If you can see that here, so they're harvesting pineapple. I still can't see our place from here. So that's our place over there. Wow, see the views. This is amazing. Yeah. So at night, early at night, because we have got solar, light comes uh, from that section. And then there's electricity somewhere around here as well. So in the evening, uh, you get to see uh, light. Okay. And here too, because there's cassava, they produce um, cassava dough. So these are cassava dough. I don't know if you can see them. You can see some white white stuff here. So that's cassava and a sack. Okay, so looks like I'm going further down to get some here. Yeah, so that's a building project over there. They've got into lentil level. That probably looks like a three or four bedroom house. These are some tall coconuts. Yeah. It's like erosion is taking place over here. So one thing I also noticed about part of this place is that they do sand winning, which is very bad. Once they come to take the sand, they don't like uh, keep the place okay. So once it begins raining, then the place just begins, you know, either getting flooded with water, especially like around where there's their valleys, which is very, very, very bad. I don't know why they do that because last some parts close to the main road which the main road is not so far from here that is very interesting um there's like some coconut trees there and they had wind sand all over this place and it was just the coconuts were just standing like once it's you know it's windy it's very serious it's even going to fall down so these are some more pineapple plantation it looks like these ones looks a little bit different um the thongs are longer than what i've seen Oh, is what I saw overcoming. More pineapple plantation. Yeah. And then another valley down here. So we walked about we walked about almost two kilometers away from our place. I don't think you can see from here because we've gone up a hill and then descended into a valley and then going up another hill but that hill is not so much high for you to be able to see outside but here I haven't really seen any building projects so far yeah there's some coconut trees a little ahead of us from here it's beginning to drizzle I don't know if it's gonna rain there's also popo but not so much of a popo plantation just you probably come by one or two of them 
as you keep walking by. It's a hill over here. So you are down the hill. Okay, there's a building project going on here. And let's take a look at it. Those are some coconuts. Plant or trees over there. These are maize, dried maize, which are ready to be harvested. Yeah. Oh, the walls got collapsed. Too bad. Okay. So this is interesting to know. So once they harvest the pineapples it looks like they are able to grow all over again so as you can see that wow that's that's cool that's another dried base over here looks like they're getting closer to where they are going to get a bamboo I know I careful. Okay. It looks like the bamboos are here. So I can see some. That's a bamboo plant over there. This is a valley that we've come to. I can't seem to see a stream around here. Okay. So we're going to be doing our harvesting. So we're going to be cutting the bamboos over here and then probably trim them. And maybe pull them a little bit up then get some of these tricycles that they call aboboya to come for them that's nice i can see them okay so i'm just going to be cutting and then i'm going to be assisting so probably stop filming from here and then maybe once we go back uh yeah uh, uh, i'll share it to you what we got like we're able to get the sizes that we wanted from this section so we are going to a different place and i noticed that the mazes or the maze over here are pretty tall uh, and one thing i've always been told about plants that are that grow very tall has to do with they are trying to you know get a bit of the sunlight yeah once the sun is up so we're going to another path which has a stream yeah So this is what I was talking about, the sand winning. So you can see how the place has turned into. But it wasn't like this, which is very bad. Yeah, these are all activities of sand winning around here. Yeah, they just come collect the sand and then just mess up the entire place and then they just go away. valley we are currently on a hill and if you look around you can see some uh, buildings far away from here yeah so that's a town called Danso which is on the main road from Adesu to Bojiasi ok 
currently working in some maize and beans farm so I'm careful so I don't damage any of the, the plants and you can see coconuts all over so these are all coconuts There's a completed building here. I've always seen it from afar, but I never gotten the chance to get close to see how it looks like. So today, looks like I'm going to see that. Okay, so that's oh, okay. It's not so completed. I used to think it's completed. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Not bad. Looks really big. This is another building here. Okay, this looks like, like a two bedroom self container apartment. Oh, okay. So we've climbed back up. The forest I saw is somewhere around there. So we went all this way down there. Okay, this is another completed, it looks like a completed building up there with a green roof. Oh, we're actually back to place that leads to our place. Okay, so that's our place, but so that's our place over there. Looks like there's another village here. It's over there. Okay, these are some frogs. Yeah, they soon grow and they start singing, making noise. Wow. Our building doesn't look bad from our farm, I say. It looks pretty cute and small. <laughs> yeah, so that's it over there. Wow. This place is really, really magical. Like the views are so beautiful. Wow. Wow. The air is so refreshing. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're going to go past the village. I was talking about so. Okay, so these are the people harvesting the pineapple. Wow. I'm getting hungry already. Looks like I might have to get something to eat. Yeah. We're doing a lot of work. It looks like my camera is beginning to warm. Okay, so the main road is just in front of that white building. Yeah, it looks like about two kilometers away from here. Yeah, that's where the main road is. And this is our place over there. Yeah, it looks like this place has been plowed to go. I think maize has been planted here. Yeah. Oh. 
So this is really just a canal boat. Good afternoon. Uh. Uh, so. Okay, okay, okay. I'll my in check is a hand of so and checking again. Down so and up, they are coin. Oh, okay. Ah, sir. You see, you know, see our coin, no man, I say, you are you. Oh, okay. Blue leaves. If you want, I can see on a Gintuan crown or Kenyan crop and wait here. Getting to the point where we're going to get the bamboos. Jose, mm, we are Kessia, yes. We look very, very, very big, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so we're going to be cutting some and then use it for what um, that is the purpose of the fence wall. So I'm going to just keep this tripod mounted somewhere here. There's, um, yeah, there's a stream here as well. Um, the Wellington boot I have is not a stone, so I wouldn't want to be stepping in the water. So I'll stay on this side. Once he cuts them, he chose them here for me, then I'll just trim them and probably just pack them well here. OK. 
like it. It looks like it's even drizzling from here. Let me just put this body here. Yeah, and okay. Okay, oops. Now I am going down.
got quite a good quantity of the bamboo so far so we're going to head back and then come back later for them